ऐसा लग रहा है कि पहला अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योगा दिवस जैसे अभी अभी ही गया है क्योंकि योगा के प्रति जो उमंग और उत्साह का माहौल बना है पूरा विश्व एक योगा कम्युनिटी के रूप में परिवर्तित हो गया है पूरी धरती माता जैसे योगा के लिए एक प्लेटफॉर्म बन गई है और व्यक्ति की समष्टि तक की यात्रा का एक आधार बन गई है अब लोग योगा को सिर्फ आरोग्य नहीं एक वेलनेस के लिए महत्वपूर्ण जीवन का अंग मानने लगे हैं आज जब हम दूसरे अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योगा पर्व को मनाने जा रहे हैं तब मेरी विश्व भर के योगा प्रेमियों को बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं हैं और मुझे विश्वास है कि पूरा विश्व इस योगा आंदोलन के साथ जुड़ता चला जाएगा वेलनेस की ओर आगे बढ़ता चला जाएगा और व्यक्ति और समस्ति का योग मिलन सुनिश्चित हो जाएगा योग केवल व्यायाम नहीं है योग एक तनावग्रस्त व्यक्ति का तनाव वापस लेता है दूर करके उसे तनाव रहित बनाता है योग अशांत मन को शांत करता है इसलिए आइए हम सब योग को अपनाएं, अपना मन भी शांत करें और विश्व शांति के मार्ग पर आगे बढ़ें। योग भारत की सांस्कृतिक विरासत है आज योग पूरे विश्व में फैल रहा है और इसके विस्तार के पीछे अनेक योग गुरु का योगदान रहा है योग के द्वारा पूरे विश्व में लोग आरोग्य वर्धन और रोग निदान का लाभ उठा रहे हैं विश्व योग दिवस के सफल आयोजन हेतु मेरी शुभकामनाएं द प्राइम मिनिस्टर मिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी led the yoga demonstration organized by the Ministry of Ayush Government of India at Rajpath in New Delhi as the world celebrated the first international day of yoga on June 21st 2015 with full enthusiasm on this momentous occasion two Guinness world records were made namely the largest yoga lesson involving 35985 participants and the maximum number of nationalities 84 that participated in a single yoga session billions of people participated with full enthusiasm in this first international day of yoga celebrations across the globe yog is essentially a spiritual discipline based on extremely subtle science it is an art and science for healthy living the word yog is derived from the sanskrit word yug meaning to join or unite according to yogic scriptures the practice of yog leads to the union of the individual consciousness with that of the universal consciousness indicating a perfect balance between mind and body man and nature the science of yog has its origins thousands of years ago before the first religions or belief systems were born in yogic lore shiv the first yogi or adi yogi transmitted his profound knowledge to his seven disciples the famous saptarishis or the seven sages yog was practiced through the pre-vedic period but it was maharishi patanjali known as the father of modern yog who systematized and codified the then practices through his yog sutras later 
many yoga masters contributed to the preservation and development of yoga and the spreading of this wonderful practice. There are different schools of yoga. These include Jnana Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Karma Yoga, Patanjala Yoga, Hatha Yoga, Kundalini Yoga, Dhyana Yoga, Mantra Yoga, Laya Yoga, Jaina Yoga, Bodha Yoga, etc. Each school has its own approach and practices that lead to the ultimate aims and objectives of yoga. Some of the widely practiced yoga sadhanas are Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi, Bandha and Mudra, Shatkarmas, Yuktahara, Mantra Japa, Yukta Karma. A yoga practitioner should follow the guiding principles while performing yogic practices. Before practice, yogic practice should be performed in a calm and quiet atmosphere with a relaxed body and mind. It should be done on an empty stomach or light stomach. Consume a small amount of honey in lukewarm water if you feel weak. Light and comfortable cotton clothes are preferred to facilitate easy movement of the body. In case of chronic diseases or pain or cardiac problems, a physician or a yoga therapist should be consulted prior to performing yogic practices. During practice, practice sessions should start with a prayer or invocation as it creates a conducive environment to relax the mind. Yogic practices shall be performed slowly, in a relaxed manner, with awareness of the body and breath. Do not hold the breath unless it is specially mentioned to do so. Do not hold the body tightly or jerk the body. Perform the practices according to your own capacity. End the session with deep silence or shanti part. Food or a bath may be taken only 20 to 30 minutes after practice. Welcome to the world of yoga. Welcome to the world of wisdom that is as relevant and beneficial today as it was thousands of years ago.
Welcome to the world of yoga. Let us start yog sadhana with chalana kriyas or loosening practices to increase microcirculation. Neck exercises, forward and backward neck bending. Stand in an alert posture. Keep feet comfortably apart and your arms on the waist. Exhale and bend head forward slowly and try to touch the chin to the chest. Inhale, move the head as far back as is comfortable and come back with inhalation. Right and left neck bending. Exhale, bend the head slowly to the right. Bring the ear as close as possible to the shoulder. Inhale, bring the head to normal position. Exhale, bend the head to the left side. Inhale, bring the head up to normal position. Right and left twisting. Exhale, gently turn the head to the right side so that the chin is in line with the shoulder. Inhale, bring the head to the normal position. Exhale, turn the head to the left side. Inhale, and bring the head to the normal position. Neck rotation. Bend the head forward trying to touch the chin to the chest. Inhale, slowly rotate the head clockwise. While coming down, exhale. Rotate the head in anti-clockwise direction. Feel the stretch around the neck and loosening up of the joints and muscles of the neck and release of tension in the neck. People with neck pain and spondylitis should do the practice gently. Shoulder movements. Feet together make the body straight, the arms by the sides. Inhale, raise both the arms sideways above your head with the palms outwards. Exhale and bring them down in the same manner. The arms must not touch the head when going up or the thighs when coming down. The palms must be open with the fingers together. shoulder rotation. Stand erect. Raise both the arms. Place the fingers of the left hand on the left shoulder and the fingers of the right hand on the right shoulder. Full rotation of both the elbows in a circular manner. Try to touch the elbows in front of the chest on the forward movement and touch the ears while moving up. Stretch the arm back in the backward movement and touch the sides of the trunk while coming down. Do the same anti-clockwise. And repeat five times. Practice of this Kriya makes the bones, muscles and nerves of the shoulder region healthy. These practices are helpful in cervical spondylitis and frozen shoulder. Trunk twisting. Keep the legs about two feet apart. Raise both the arms up to chest level with the palms facing each other. Exhale. Twist the body towards the right side so that the left palm touches the right shoulder. Come back with inhalation. Now exhale, twist the body towards the left side so that the right palm touches the left shoulder. Come back with inhalation. Repeat, do slowly with breathing. <laughs> 